Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for viewing. We are uh, in the process of continuing the breakfast bar cabinet siding. For those of you who watched the other film before this one, um, just a quick recap. We have taken the pieces of wood that we bought at Lowe's, the local store here in Hannibal, uh, rustic pallet board. It was stained brown. We took our oscillating sander with 80 grit sandpaper. We sanded it down a little bit. Didn't sand it enough to lose the saw marks. I wanted to keep them for the uh, rustic appearance. Um, but we did sand it down just to lighten them up a little bit. Once we got them all sanded, I took regular latex paint. I bought a little Tupperware jug here. I probably put, I think, I think I put about 250 milliliters of white paint in, maybe just a bit underneath that, and then brought it up to 350 milliliters with water, and then stirred it up real good. Took a rag, just a regular white, old t-shirt actually, dipped it in there, rubbed it down. Probably on these, on these boards from Lowe's, I did them twice. I rubbed it down, took a dry rag, wiped them off gently, let them dry for a few minutes, rubbed them down again with the wet paint, with the wet rag, wiped them off with a dry rag. On the, uh, the piece of pine here, it's just a regular piece of yellow pine, I did them three times, rubbed it down, let it dry, let it, rubbed it down, let it dry, rubbed it down again. And that is where we are at. We've got a whole stack of these to do. Um, once I get all these done and I start installing them onto the cabinet, we'll make another video for you. So thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, if you like my ideas, hit that like button. By all means, please subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, as long as they're not negative, we don't need negative stuff, but Feel free to ask away and feel free to give your opinions. On any of this whitewashing stuff, you can do so much to it. Your imagination is the limit. I mean, you can whitewash these. You can paint them. You can take sandpaper on either way, whitewash or just flat out paint it. Sandpaper, if you want an antique look, take a piece of sandpaper, 120, 80, just put it in your hand and just fold it a little bit and make some sanding marks in it you know just random nothing nothing like a pattern uh, unless you want to do a pattern of course that's completely up to you but uh, that'll bring out the wood underneath this white and kind of make it look worn you can accent that wood or uh, highlight it by taking some brown stain and just dry dipping a rag in it you know squishing it up so it's not real wet not dripping off the rag wet and you can wipe the whole thing down then take another rag and wipe it off uh, you can just wipe the parts where you sanded and it'll it'll really bring out the worn part take sandpaper and hit the corners and the edges a little bit if you're going for that antique look like i said sky's the limit on your imagination whatever you can think you can do with this stuff it, there's no set standards on this at all I am going to take, after I get all these whitewashed, I am going to take some uh, clear coat and spray clear coat on them because where they're at, um, sitting at the bar, it's just me and my wife, but still, feet might kick them, rub up against them, legs might rub up against them. Um, we don't want to wear the paint off, so the clear coat will help protect the paint. It's just a, a clear satin finish. It's not gloss or anything like that. So just, just a little bit of clear coat to help protect the paint. Again, thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. Have a great day.